I'd like to say good morning to all of you uh, people of God that have gathered here in this house of worship this morning. Uh, to all those who are listening in by way of Facebook or, or YouTube, it's certainly good to be uh, in this spiritual place. Amen. Uh, the Bible says God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. I want you to turn to your neighbor if you're in the sanctuary and if you got a neighbor at home right next to you, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, God's been good to us. He brought us when we didn't deserve to be brought. And so I come out to praise the Lord with everything that in me. Let everybody, everything that hath breath. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Let's give God some praise in the house. Amen. Amen. Let me do some housekeeping things right quick. Um, uh, again, uh, the face mask, please wear those while we're in the sanctuary. Try to keep your six foot distance from uh, each other. I know that uh, when there's a beautiful spirit in the house, it kind of draws you near. Amen. But in the safety of each other, let's try to keep the six foot distancing. And if you need water, uh, just uh, reach out or raise your hand. The ushers will uh, get you some bottled water at your seat. We turn the fountains off for a sanitary reason. Other than that, don't let, don't let Satan block your praise. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. God bless you. At this time, we'll get a song and then we'll move on with our devotion. Amen. Uh, Reverend Ezel, if I could get you to come on up uh, and adorn the pulpit with us this morning. Amen. Mm-hmm. 
Uh-huh. All right, so. Uh, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father, because I realize that, Lord, I couldn't have grown myself. Lord, thank you, honey, 69, I got to know my name. All right. Who long have to leave and be pinned over in and everything. Lord, I have to realize who is pinned on my mom. So, Lord, I'm going to be pinned on the dead. But Jesus, I know. Jesus, Jesus. Lord, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Oh, Father, I thank you for family and friends. I thank you for companions, Lord. I thank you for neighbors and little children. All right. I thank you for my friends as well as my enemies. I thank you, Lord, for those that don't know you in the pardon of the sin, but bless them, bless them. Yeah. It's getting late in the evening, yeah. Lord, and the sun is going down. Uh -huh. Lord, I just want to say thank you thank for loving the problem. For a year and a half of pandemic. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we can lie on her home, a prayer of all of us. And Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. And Father, we thank you for the mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Father, we thank you for the pastors you have paid. Yep, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, then we thank you for the mothers. Lord, we thank you for the yeah. men. Remember, yeah. yeah. name my name. Yeah. Oh, Lord, we thank you for our enemy that put us on. Yes, sir. Lord, thank you for those who coming up on the rough side of the mountain. Oh, yeah. Lord, yeah. Way to turn. The Lord is not here, Lord. There's a long way to look to the hill. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. Then, right. Oh, Lord, you will be there to help us to lead and guide them the way you want them to go. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord, then, then Lord, let us know that, Lord, that there is no mountain to hide. Yes, sir. You gotta know, Lord, that you can't go over and you can't yeah. go over. That's yeah. right. Lord, you got all power, Lord. We, are, we can't even do nothing on our own. Mm -hmm. I've learned to realize that I can't back my eyes without you, Lord. Yeah. I just yeah. want to say thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lord, for sales, Lord, be everything that you see he's sending me to. Mercy, Lord. Lord, he's going to bring us the word, Lord. And Lord, not only him, Lord. Every time you stand up in your poor feet. Jesus. Give him a yeah. health and strength, Lord. Yeah. Fruit your word. Mm -hmm. oh, Lord, bless them who are incarcerated, Lord. Bless them in the hospital, Lord. Bless them who laying up at home. That's right. Yeah. That's right. They need to raise their right hand, but Lord, tell them to lay their feet. Yes, Lord. And do anything, anything for them. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord, now, when this life journey is low. When? Oh, Lord, then I'm gone the last time. Yes. Oh, Lord, they do water death. Mm -hmm. These eyes. These eyes. I want to hear the Lord say, Well, God. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, this. Thank you, a few things. Come yeah. on. Look. A little higher. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Let the church say amen. Uh, thank you, uh, Deacon Nance, for that devotional prayer. Um, at this time, um, I'm blessed to have uh, my father in the ministry, my friend and brother, Reverend Toronto Ezel, in, in the house. I'll have him to come and bless us with the scripture reading. And of course, uh, I'll introduce our speaker of the hour a little bit later. But Reverend Ezel, if you'll come at this time. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Our scriptures for the morning shall come from the book of Malachi, chapter 3. It's the last uh, book of the Bible of the Old Testament. Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. All right, sir. For I am the Lord. I change not. Mm -hmm. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob mm -hmm. are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, ye have gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you. All right. Said the Lord of hosts. Yeah. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. 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 God bless you. Uh, 
I'll get uh, Deacon Nance to go and bless us with a song. Uh, how do y'all feel this morning? Amen. Good. Uh, do y'all feel like the Lord is uh, still blessing you? Amen. 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 Do, do you feel like that he has you in the palm of his hand? Yeah. Do you really feel like that? Do, do you feel like that he got you there because he owes you something or just because he's just good and merciful? Good. Amen. Y'all ought to be ready to praise God this morning. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This joy that you have, don't let the devil take it away from you. Amen. This is the Lord's house. Amen. So let's make a joyful noise to him. Amen. 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 So church say amen uh, so many times the Lord has made a way for me and whether you realize it or not so many times he made a way uh, for you amen open doors that no man could shut and shut doors that no man could open um, our, our announcements I'm gonna try to do this without my glasses I left them in, in the back um, so Wednesday, um, we had the prayer call uh, led by Sister Margo and Sister Carter, Sister Graham and Sister Carter. It's at 12 o'clock p.m. If you have somebody you want to add to the prayer list, please get those names over to them. And if at all possible, um, if you can join, uh, please do uh, uh, join. Um, so Vacation Bible School starts this week, starts tomorrow night, goes through Wednesday. Uh, for the adults, uh, it's from 6 to 8. For the children, I think it's from 6 to 7. And the teens, from 6 to 8. So if y'all would join us, uh, we're using the same book. Uh, Deacon Patton, do you mind uh, picking up that book right there on the front seat for the adults? The books that we used, I think, uh, last year. Um, bring it up here. Let me hold that up. I plan to have it with me. But it's... Um, uh, there's an email out there that gives the three chapters that we're going to look at, but it's this book right here that we had, I think, year before last. So we're going to pick up uh, three chapters out of that. So it should be exciting. Um, the school supply drive is still underway. 
Uh, so if you can, let's try to support it. And if you didn't bring anything today like I didn't, um, try to get it in there tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow when you come to vacation, uh, Bible school. All right, the box is located out there in the vestibule. Um, we tentatively have set the revival for uh, August 24th through the 26th at 7 p.m. nightly. Uh, right now, uh, Elder uh, Dr. Jerry Crutcher is the guest evangelist. Um, so um, we're, we're keeping our ears close to what's going on, listening to the science as well as to God on how we go forward. So just circle your calendar and put tentative there. Um, Women's Day, next Sunday, um, it's going to be during the morning service. Our speaker is none other than Sister Wilhelmina Burwell. Um, so what are the colors? White with yellow, it, uh, that, those are the colors. So ladies, we look forward to y'all just, you know, these men did theirs a while ago, but y'all always been good about our doing men in the church, mm -hmm. amen? So, so we'll see what it looks like, amen. So with nothing else, um, uh, we'll have a, a um, let me do this, and uh, Deacon, uh, get ready to play us a song, and um, our speaker for today is, uh, I'm, I'm slowly, uh, I think I can call you friend now. Amen. You're Amen. Friend of, friend Amen. of friend of God. Amen. Friend of Christ. Um, he, very good friend. Uh, he set in uh, for me on several occasions, and I find him to be a servant of the Most High God. I find him to not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and in being in and around him, I find that um, he has a spirit where he's not ashamed of. Of the gospel of Christ. Amen. And I, I, I really feel. Just in being around him. Amen. He believes that it's the power of God. Unto salvation. Unto all those that believe. I do believe. In being around him. That he believes in a dead, buried, and a resurrected Savior. Amen. Um, he has a wonderful spirit. Uh, 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 his wife couldn't make it with him today. She had other obligations. But uh, I'm speaking of none other than Minister Montres Bethea. He is the associate minister at Zion. Um, what is, uh, Mount Zion. Mount Zion. Primitive Baptist Church where our own Dr. Marlon uh, Burwell is the pastor. Amen. I want you to greet him with an uplift of hand. Amen. Like you really want that God to touch him. Say, say, Minister Bethel. Let, Let God have his way. Amen. The next voice you'll hear after uh, the song um, uh, will be none other than Elder Bethea. I want you all to hear ye him what thus says the Lord. Amen. Amen. we're going to do is an altar call prayer after this. Amen. Altar call prayer next. I know you're able. I want you to help me. You got all power in your hands. I want you to help me. You're my friend. You're my only friend. And I know You're my friend, you my only friend, and I know one that can. Oh, we need your father to help me. Oh, yes, I do. I want you to help me. If I need money, I want you to help 
rich will pay my bill. I want you to help me. He would open up the windows of heaven. If it's according to his will, I want you to help me. You're my friend. You're my friend. And I know more than more than oh, we need you, Father. I want you to help me. I need you, Lord. I want you to help me. Oh, oh Lord. I want you to help me. I may mean, know you'll make a way somehow. I want you to won't he give joy in the time of trouble? I know you got power. Look at him. You're my friend. You're my friend. You're my friend. You're my friend. The reason why he's a friend. You're my Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Now, God, one day, Jesus. I'm going to testify to you. God, I just said, thank you. Because my faith is ancient in you, Lord. Yeah. 
Go ahead and stand and feel free to sing along. Amen. In the house. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Before I go any farther, let me give honor to God. Amen. Amen. Such a blessing to be in God's house with God's people. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. I, I certainly thank your pastor, Pastor yes, Smith, for, for thinking about me. Amen. Yes, he could have could have gotten anyone to come and stand yes, where he stands. So I'm 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 honored, amen, to be here. Yes, Every time I come to Beaver Dam, I feel so at home. Amen. All right. All right Amen. Sir. Amen. That's all right. I'm, I'm not going to ask you because I know I can't ask. I'm not going to ask you to take your mask off, but let me see you smile. All right. Let me see you smile. Amen. Let it, Amen. Let it fit. Yeah. Yeah. I feel better now. I feel better now. All right. Amen. Sir. Amen. Um, it's, it's a feeling that, that, that comes over you when you come into the house. Yes, sir. Uh, you 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 find yourself surrounded by people of God. All right. Like-minded folks. All right. Sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Folks who could have stayed at home, or or, yes, or or folks who who could have decided to cut the grass this morning, mm -hmm. wash the car, but God. But God. Amen. Amen. So so it's good to be here. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. I, I'm, I'm looking at the clock. I don't want to hold you long. Preach. I, I, I heard somebody say it's, it's going to take as long as it takes. All right. Amen. Right. Amen. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Uh, uh, giving honor to God uh, uh, again, as, as uh, your pastor told you, I'm, 
uh, one of the ministers at uh, Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church, where I was moderator. Uh, Dr. Marlon Burwell is the pastor. Amen. Um, so I bring you greetings from Mount Zion. And next Sunday, you will be blessed to have the first lady, uh, uh, Wilhelmina Burwell, come and, and, and speak. So I, I certainly, certainly praise God for that. Mm -hmm. um, you all look so good. Uh, Bless you. Uh, somebody says, you know, I don't look like what I've been through. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, all, you look good. And I thank God for your presence here this morning. Um, thank God for the first lady. She, she welcomed me with, with open arms this morning as, as the mother and the deacons and everybody. Again, I feel so, so at home. So without uh, prolonging it before I meet him, mess around and start crying up here. Yep, so. Amen. Uh, I would like for you to open your Bibles to Psalm 55. All right. Psalm 55. We're just going to look at a couple of verses. We're going to use this as a background. Psalm 55. I'm just going to pick out a couple of verses. I'm going to start at verse number one and then I'm going to move to verse 16 and then finally verse 22. Psalm 55. Amen. If you're there, say amen. 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 Psalm 55. Bible says, give ear to my prayer, O God, uh -huh. and hide not yourself from my supplication. Yes, sir. Verse 16. As for me, I will call upon God, and God shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud, mm -hmm. and he shall hear my voice. Finally, verse 22. Cast your burdens upon the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Right. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. For a title this morning, I would like to use prayer will change things. All right. Prayer will change, change things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. As, as Christians, as followers of Christ, as believers, we know that we have to have a strong prayer life. All right. We have to call on the Lord, not only in times of need, but amen, when everything is going well, we still need to talk to the Lord. I, I tell folks sometimes that it seems like we talk more about the Lord Come on, sir. than we talk to the Lord. All right. You, 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 you have to go to God in prayer. Yes. You, you have to have a strong connection with the Lord. Just as you will get on the phone and call your best friend or your brother, your sister, and tell them about your good news. Amen. You have to get on your knees and tell the Lord, thank you for what you've done for me. Just like you will get on the phone and you will call someone and tell them about the rough times that you're going through. All right. You got to get on your knees and call on the Lord. I, I, I sometimes tell folks that prayer is it, it's a little bit like, like voting. In other words, you ought to try it sometime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 sometimes we, we talk about what God can do and, and what he, he will do and what I would like for him to do, what I wish he would do. But do we go to him? Do we go to the Lord and tell him about our troubles? Okay. Do we tell him about our good days and our bad days? Mm -hmm. Do we tell him when we're struggling uh, to get along with our neighbor? Yes, sir. Do we tell him about that person that's sitting on the pew with us that, that, that just won't seem to even look our way? Mm -hmm. do, do, do we tell him how hard it is sometimes to get up out of the bed? Amen. Do we thank him each time we open our eyes for, amen, giving us breath in our body? All right. Amen. We have to, have to have a strong prayer life. So David here in this Psalm 55. This psalm is, is, is special because if you look at the psalm in its entirety, it's, it's what we call a, an imprecatory prayer. 
That word imprecatory, I, I don't know, I think it's one of those $20 words. Uh, the, but the, the word imprecatory, an imprecatory prayer or imprecatory psalm is a psalm of, of vengeance. It's a psalm or a prayer that was used to ask God to rain down his vengeance on your enemy. All right. So when someone would do you wrong, you would ask God to to smite them. You would ask God to take care of them. And sometimes when we are studying the word, we wonder, amen, is this a proper prayer? Come amen. On, Come on. Should, a, should, a, should a Christian ask God to rain down vengeance on their enemies? Should a Christian ask God to, to, to smite their enemies? Amen. But here we see David is not wishing harm on his enemies. He's just asking God to handle it. All right. He's All putting right. it in God's hands. So as we look at this psalm, we see that David goes to God in prayer. Yes, sir. Yes, Sometimes sir. when we have those who wish us no good, we want to handle it ourselves. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, we, we, we say things like, you'll need me before I need you. Need you. Uh, we, we say things like, uh, I love you, but I'm going to love you from a distance. Jesus, uh, we, we say things like, I forgive you, but I ain't going to fool with you. Here, David is asking God to handle it. Mm -hmm. he, he, he's placing it in God's hands. And when he goes to God, he realizes that there's a privilege in prayer. All right. That, that there's a privilege in being able to go to the master. Hey man, I'm talking about the maker and creator of the universe. Yes, sir. I'm talking about the yes, one who stepped out on nothing, nothing and created everything. Yes, sir. There's a privilege in being able to go to him, talk to him, tell him about your troubles. Yes, sir. Hey man, so David realizes that there's, there's privilege in prayer. And he realizes that prayer will change things. Yes, sir. So, so David says, give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my supplication. In other words, David knows that God sits high and look low. Mm. So David says, Lord, I just ask you to hear my prayer. Yes, sir. Because I know that you are prayer answering God. Yes, sir. I know that you are a, a heart fixer and a mind regulator. Yes, sir. So, so, so David understands that when we pray, we, 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 we fellowship with God. We, we commune with God. Can you imagine? I'm talking about God. Amen. I'm, I'm not talking about your, your supervisor on the job. Amen. I'm not talking about somebody who, who, who you think can help you because uh, 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 your phone ain't working, because your cable ain't right. I'm talking about God. I'm talking about the one who put breath in your body. I'm talking about the one who gives you the activity of your limbs. I'm talking about the one who put a song in your heart. I'm talking about God. And we have a privilege, amen, yes, sir. to go to him. Tell him all about what's going on. Yes, sir. Ask him to, amen, help us in our time of need. Amen, ain't God good? Oh, yes, sir. So David realized that, that when you pray, you fellowship with God. When you, when you pray, you, you, you bring God into communion. Amen, when you, when you pray, you, you, you tighten up that, that connection that you have with God. Amen, right. amen. God is good. When we pray, church, when we pray, we have to do as the Bible says. 2 Chronicles seven fourteen says, If my people yeah. who are called by my name. Mm -hmm. let, 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 let me stop right there. So we, we are God's people. Amen. We belong to him and he belongs to us. That's good news. Yes, sir. When you know that you know that you know that God has got you in his hand. It just make you feel good. It make you feel like no matter what's going on in your life, you can call on him. Amen. Even, even when things don't look good, you know that they work together for the good. Even when you're sick, you know you got a savior. Yes, sir. Even when you have to go to the graveyard. Yes, sir. You know you got a savior. Redeemer. Even when you when your friends turn their back on you. 
you know you got a friend. Yes, sir. Amen. God is good. He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, yes. turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. Yeah. So yeah. when we pray, we have to humble ourselves. Yes, sir. We have to understand that God is all powerful. Yes, sir. Amen. We have to humble ourselves and understand that we need to pray not only for ourselves, but we have to pray for those that spitefully use us and, yes. and, and misuse us. Yes, sir. Amen. We have to pray for our friends and our enemies. We have to pray for those who have done us wrong. We have to humble ourselves. Mm -hmm. Ask God to take control. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. When you pray, you got to seek the will of God. Yes, sir. Sometimes yes, when sir. we pray, all we want to do is tell God what we want. We want. Tell God where we want him to send us. Yes. Tell God what, what we want to do. And we just want him to fix it for us so that we can get that car we want or that house we want or that husband we want or that wife we want. Whatever it is we want. We want. We want God to work that out. But right. the, the, the Lord says, seek my face. Yeah. Seek yeah. my will. Lord, you in control. Yes, sir. I ask you, Lord, to move me. I ask you, Lord, to guide me. Send me where you want me to go. Tell me what you want me to say. Yes. Tell me what you want me to do. I'm yours. Move me. Mold me. We have to humble ourselves and seek God's face. When you pray, you got to ask God to take the wheel. That's right. Sir. Amen. Amen. He said, if you humble yourself, pray and seek my face and then turn from your wicked way. Turn. Some of us, church, we have a little bit of, I call it, a little bit of Jonah in us. Uh, Jonah knew what the Lord wanted him to do, but Jonah decided he was going to go the other way. Sometimes when we know that the Lord wants us to go to our enemy and try to make amends, he wants us to be the bigger person. He wants us to try to, try to fix that, 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 that rip that's been Put in our relationship, we decide we're gonna go the other way. Yes, sir. Yes, Sometimes when the Lord wants us to speak to that person who we know uh, won't speak back to us, we go the other way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes when the Lord wants us to to move and and to work in the vineyard, we decide that ah oh, we need to lay in the bed just a little while longer. Yes, sir. So sometimes, church, we have a little bit of Jonah in us. But the Lord says, humble yourself, yep. pray, seek my face, and turn, turn from your wicked ways. In other words, turn towards God. Ask God where he wants you to go. Ask God what he wants you to do. When we see someone in need, we, we, we see so many folks on the side of the road, our heart becomes hardened, and we figure they just scamming they they really don't need anything they 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 out there just trying to get what they can get from me but when god moves on your heart and he tells you that this person is in need you can't turn the other way all right when the spirit leads you amen amen you help those who are in need because somebody has helped us all right somebody has picked us up when we were down so he says, turn from your wicked ways. In other words, help those who are in need. Pray for those, amen, who are not praying for you. Don't only help those who you know are going to help you, but help those who you know don't have any means to help you. They can't really pay the favor, but you know that they're in need. The Lord wants us to help them. So when you, when you pray, pray, you ask God to move you. Yes, sir. Amen. You don't lean on your own understanding. That's right. You ask God to send you, amen, where you need it. Somebody needs you in the hospital. Somebody needs you in the nursing home. Somebody needs you, amen, in the church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we ask God to move us. When you pray, move us. when you pray, you bring that fellowship closer with God. Mm -hmm. There was a tax collector and a Pharisee. And they both were calling on the Lord. 
The Pharisee said, Lord, I see this fellow over here and I thank you that I'm not like him. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, I, I, I'm, I'm good. I, I got it going on. I pay my tithes and I come to church and I dress well and I, I look good. I thank you I'm not like that one over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but the tax collector. Tax collector wouldn't even raise his eyes. He looked down and he said, Lord, have mercy on a sinner like me. Mm -hmm. When we pray, we got to humble ourselves. Ask God to have mercy on us. Ask God to help us so that we might help somebody else. Yeah. Help us that we might be an example to someone. Every time you, 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 you go to work or you go uh, to the store, or sometimes even in the, in the church, you see folks disagreeing. You see folks arguing about something, uh, this or that. God needs somebody who can be a peacemaker. Yes, he needs somebody who can step in the middle of that and say, Take a breath for just a minute. Let's ask God to move among us right now. Folks get so angry about everything. Folks upset right now because they got to put a mask on when they go into Walmart. All right. Folks get mad because they got to wear a mask for 10 minutes and you got folks working in there and they wear a the mask all day. Folks want to argue, fuss and fight. I, I've seen people fighting over having to wear masks. I've seen people fighting over uh, all the things that are going on right now. But God wants us to let him take control. That's right. In the midst of this coronavirus, COVID-19 and quarantine and vaccine and all these different things that are going on, we need to let God take control. That's right. like we, we, we need to pray, church. We need to pray and ask God to lead us and guide us. That's right. Because we'll go out and we'll do what we want to do. Jesus. We'll go out and we'll say what we want to say. Jesus. You ever heard somebody say, I'm a, uh, you about to make me lay down my religion and tell you something. Yeah. We got to pray, church. We got to pray because the enemy wants us to act the fool. Yes, sir. That the enemy wants us to, to get out there and start cutting up and, 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 and start acting like the world. Yes, sir. So they can say, look at you. Call yourself a Christian. We got to pray. Pray and ask God to hold on to us. Yes. Pray and ask God to keep us. Don't let us get out there and, 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 and give God a bad name. Amen. We're followers of God. We're Christians. We're representatives of God. We're the ones, amen, who God uses as his hands and his feet. We're the ones who God uses, amen, to tell folks about how good God is. We're, we're the ones who God uses to tell folks about where he brought us from. Ain't God good? Yes, sir. Ain't they all right? So, so God wants us to pray. He wants us to hold on to him. So the first thing prayer does is, is it tightens and strengthens our fellowship with God. That's what prayer does. The second thing that prayer does is prayer makes a way for us to see the impossible become possible. Yes, sir. Prayer opens our eyes to things that we never thought could happen. I, I was reading about Hezekiah in, in 1 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 20. Hezekiah was told by the man of God to get your house in order. Because it's pretty soon it's going to be all over. Yes, sir. The Bible said Hezekiah didn't, didn't run and start talking to his friends. He didn't try to, try to uh, 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 get his will together. He didn't try to, try to uh, hop on, I'm going to say, Facebook and, and post it out of the way. The Bible said Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and he prayed to God. Yes, sir. What we have to do is pray because when we pray, the impossible becomes possible. That's right. We're able to see the glory of God. When we pray, we're able to see how sickness becomes healing. When we pray, we're able to, to see how broken homes become united again. Yes, sir. When we pray, we're able to see how God moves among his people. That's right. Amen. When we pray, we're able to see. It opens our eyes so that we can see how good God is. So when we pray, uh, 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 the impossible becomes possible. Yes. I, I, I was thinking about Paul and Silas. 
The Bible said they were locked in jail. They were shackled on their hands and their feet. And instead of crying, instead of complaining, instead of wondering and wishing when God was going to move, the Bible said they prayed and they sang praises. Yes, sir. They prayed to God and they glorified him in the midst of their trouble and their tribulation. Yes, in the midst of what was going on, they prayed and they praised God. When things are going wrong in your life, don't you find it easy to forget about yesterday's blessings? All right. All when right. things are going wrong, all you can think about is today. When things are, are going wrong, you forget about how God brought you. Yes, sir. And all you think about is what God can do for me right now. Yes, sir. Sometimes when trouble is in our way, it seems like today's problems make us forget yesterday's miracles. But we got to remember that God is the one who brought us this far. Yes, and if he brought us this far, amen, he didn't bring us this far to leave us. That's right. If That's God right. will bring you to it, he'll show sure enough see you through it. Yes, sir. So we got to remember in the midst of our troubles that God is still in control. Yes, sir. He sits high and he looks low. Yes. yes. He cares about us. The Bible says cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. Yes, sir. So when we pray, we're able to see God move. We're able to see his power. We're able to see that yesterday he took care of me. The yes, day before sir. he took care of me. When I was sick and thought I couldn't get well, he took care of me. When I had to go and visit someone in the hospital room, he, he took care of me. When I had to put my mask on, he took care of me. When I, when, I, when I didn't know where my next meal was coming from, he took care of me. So if he took care of me then, he'll take care of me now. When, when we pray, church, we're able to see the impossible turn possible. Yes, sir. Finally, finally, church, Pretty when we tough. pray, we're able to see the goodness of God. Mm -hmm. When Job prayed, Job prayed for his friends. The Bible said God blessed him with twice as much as he had before. Mm -hmm. When Satan came and took all that Job had, the Bible said Job didn't curse God. He didn't turn his back on God. Bible said Job ripped his clothes and he fell down and worshiped God. I heard Job say, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Yes, sir. I, I heard Job when he said, though he slay me, yet, yet will I trust him. I heard Job when he said, I will trust in the Lord uh, until I die. I, I, I believe, church, that when we pray, our faith gets strengthened. Yes, I believe when we pray, we, we get renewed energy in the Lord. I believe when we pray, something moves inside of us. I believe when we pray, the Lord rain down blessings upon us. Yes. When our praises go up, Bless. blessings come down. I believe, church, I, I believe when we pray, when we pray, it seems like the spirit begin to move inside of us. I believe when we pray, we understand that God got all power. When we pray, we know that God has brought us from a mighty long way. When we pray, church, we see the glory of God. When we pray, we understand that we got brothers and sisters who stand in the need. When we pray, church, we know that God has got our power. Yes, when we pray, when we pray, church, when we pray, we strengthen that connection. Yes. When we pray, the Lord will put a song in our heart. Yes. When we pray, when we yes. pray, church, when we pray, yes, the Lord will just step in and, and move all around us. Yes. When we pray, when we pray, church, the Lord seemed to take control. When we pray, the Lord put a smile on our face. Yes, sir. No matter what we're going through, it yes. seems like we're able to step above what's going on. Yes. When we pray, we're not worried about who's talking about us. Yes. When we pray, we're not worried about who's mistreating us. Yes. When we pray, all we think about is how good God is. Right. Ain't he all right? Yes. Ain't God good? Come on, when we man. pray, when we pray, we get the feeling all right. Somebody say, what's wrong with you? I don't know 
know what it is, but I know who it is. Make me feel all right. Make me love my enemies. Make me love my neighbor. Make me feel good. His name, church. His name is Jesus. I'm talking about the lily of the valley. Ain't the Lord all right? I feel pretty good right now. When we pray, we know that God sent his son through those 40 and two generations. Yes, when we pray, we know, we know that they took him to Calvary's cross. Yes, sir. Nailed him to that cross. Yes. Amen. They hung him high, stretched yes. him wide. We know he died. Yes. But when we pray, we know right early, yes. Sunday morning, he got out the grave. Yes. Ain't God good? Yes. Ain't he all right? When we pray, church, we know we got a savior. We know he sit high and look low. We know that he got love for us. Ain't God good? Yeah. Ain't he all right? I love the Lord. Yeah. He heard my cry. Ain't God good? Yes, I, I'm done, church, but I, I just got to tell you that when we pray, God will make a way out of no way. When we're trying to work it out, he's already fixed it. He's already fixed it. He's already made a way for us. We don't know what tomorrow holds, yes, but we know who holds tomorrow. Yes. Amen. Ain't God all right? Yes. Ain't God good? I, I got to go, church. I, I, I feel good right now. Yes. I just want to tell you that when you pray, when you pray, when you pray, God will work it out. Yes, sir. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Bless you, preacher. Bless you. Bless you. Amen. 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 Let the church say amen. amen. Prayer is the key. And faith unlocks the door. Amen. Let's give our speaker a round of applause. This time I'd like to extend an invitation for Christian discipleship. There are three ways by which one can become a member of the Primitive Baptist Church. There are by letter, or restoration, or a candidate for baptism. If you are a candidate for baptism, amen, and you want to accept Jesus Christ uh, as your Lord and Savior, we invite you to come. It's no secret. All you have to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. The word says, thou shalt be saved. Amen. Perhaps you've been praying and wondering when he was going to show up. But I want to let you know today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is not promise. And there may be somebody who may feel that their prayer life is not what it ought to be. And they want to renew that relationship and want to rededicate your life to Christ. Uh, you certainly invited to come. Amen. And we have a Savior who can fix it. Amen. His name is Jesus. And there may be somebody who out there or here who do, who do not or who does not have a church home and would like to become a part of what God is doing here at Beaver Dam. Um, yeah, uh, we invite you uh, to come at this time. Amen. The invitation has been well extended. Uh, we thank uh, you and we pray God keep you. All right, um, so at this time, again, uh, I want to thank Reverend Ezel for adorning the pulpit with us. Uh, Minister uh, uh, Elder Bethea, thank you for coming in my time of need. Uh, I tried, uh, tried to hold out, and the Lord said, well, I'm going to make your arms show out. Friday night, he made me dial him, <laughs> uh, Minister Bethea. And, uh, you know, and who am I to uh, kick against God? Amen. But anyway, with that said, uh, we're going to go ahead in the interest of time, uh, get uh, Elder Bethea to come. Uh, Reverend Ezell, did you have anything you'd like to share? Okay, um, get him to come with his closing words and we'll get ready for Sunday school. Okay. Amen. Amen, church. Amen. 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 Always, always so good to see you all. Amen. And uh, it feels like... Uh, Feel like it, it, it went so fast. Amen. I almost feel like starting over. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But bless you. Bless you. Thank you all for having me. I, I look forward to uh, joining you for Sunday school. So since we're about to uh, transition into Sunday school, 
I don't know, do we do a benediction? Yeah, just go ahead amen. And do amen. 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 Well, again, again, amen. So good to see you. I bless you. I ask you to stand if you can, if you will. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you. Thank you, thank you Father, for being our God. Thank you for being so good to us. Yes, thank God. you, Father, for bringing us to yet one more worship service. Mm -hmm. Thank you for giving us a, a heart and a mind to, to worship and praise your name. Thank you for just being so good. Thank yes, you for God. being God and being God all by yourself. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Father, for Beaver Dam Church. We Bless thank us, you God. for Pastor Smith and the Bless First Lady and each member name by name. We ask you just continue to lead and guide, Father. Mm -hmm. We trust you, Father. We love you. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. Right. Present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. The saints of God say, amen. 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 Bless you again. God bless you. Sir. Hey, uh, trust and hope that you all will be remaining with us for Sunday school. But those of you who must leave, we ask in the interest of not having to pass one another that you... Uh, leave uh, to, through the door to my left. Amen. Amen. How many of you have your Sunday school books with you this morning? How many of you need one? How many of you got one that they, you'll share with the one that need one? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. If y'all would. Let's share them. Are we offline, gentlemen? Are we, off, are we offline? We're not.